just this year, uh, we've seen uh, the seizure of our sailors. Uh, we've seen a doubling, according to the Pentagon's numbers, uh, in the number of uh, naval confrontations <coughs> uh, over this time last year. Now they're threatening to blow our planes out of the sky. Uh, we've seen a very aggressive series of ballistic missile tests from the regime. There's more American hostages in Iran. And so I just wonder how you can possibly uh, assess the evolution of this relationship in which the landmark <coughs> moment is the finalization of this nuclear deal and rule out the possibility that, in fact, one of the byproducts of this deal has been uh, to uh, embolden the regime to worse rather than better behavior. Well, uh, we always were very clear that their objective in reaching a nuclear agreement with Iran was to prevent them from obtaining a nuclear weapon, which we, uh, I think, all agree would only exacerbate uh, uh, the threat in the region <coughs> of Iran, as well as exacerbate tensions in the region and pose a real national security uh, risk to the United States. Uh, we never said that this was going to solve all of Iran, Iran Iran's, excuse me, uh, bad behavior, and in fact. Um, you know, we uh, would like, as much as we would like to see Iran's behavior change uh, in the region, uh, we've not seen a significant shift. Uh, in fact, you have seen a shift. It's gotten worse. Well, Am I correct about that? Well, again, I don't have all the facts and figures in front of me, but we have seen some disturbing, as you cited, <coughs> uh, trends. Uh, and I think uh, two things. One is that uh, in our view, it only uh, uh, makes the significance of the nuclear agreement that much more important uh, because uh, the last thing anyone would want to see in the region <coughs> is a nuclear-armed Iran. Um, but it also shows that Iran has a choice to make, uh, and if it wants to engage further with the West, uh, following on the engagement that led to the nuclear agreement. Uh, more productively and play a more constructive role in the region or continue with, as I said, its bad behavior. Thus far, we've not seen that shift to a constructive engagement. But you can't rule out that, in fact, this deal has served as a cause for this more aggressive posture. I mean, I, I can't rule that out. It's just, uh, you know, we've, uh, you know, Iran, uh, like many countries, has an internal political process uh, that's defined by a lot of different dynamics. Uh, but uh, I can't give an assessment one way or the other in that regard. So, so is it correct that, that, you're, that you're, you're saying that, that uh, the nuclear deal is important because Iran would be doing all the same stuff that it's doing now? And pursuing a nuclear weapon. A and with a nuke. Is that right. what you're or saying? Or possibly with a nuke or at least pursuing a nuclear right. weapon. And, but I think you're, you're right that they have shown a willingness to engage with the West, but it's to engage militarily, isn't it? Huh? Well, I, again, I, I mean, they are a member of the ISSG, the International Serious Support Group. They have signed on to uh, the uh, goal of that organization, which is to uh, uh, end the conflict uh, and lead to a political transition in Syria. Um, you know, uh, we continue to uh, look for signs that they're willing to engage right. constructively but across the, the board. That's the only thing that they've done in terms of engagement, or except for the military stuff. That yeah. Talking, you've been talking about that. that that's a, that, that, that's pretty slim picking. Well, again, I'm not I'm not here to advocate on behalf of the uh, okay. Iranian uh, government and their engagement with the West.